Hi everyone, Rubber Mold Man here, and today I'm going to do a short video on how to get nice uh, painting effects for fluffy forest type creatures. Any any type of statue that has like a, a fur effect, I'm just going to show a simple way to really make that pop out. In this case I'm going to use this little bunny here. Um, as you can see he's already got the black base coat. I've got a video about you know why I do the watered down black base coat first. Uh, so check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and again, I'm not real worried about it being a real solid coat as long as it's for the most part kind of stained black with that watery base coat of latex black paint, it's good to go. Um, and it has texture in the piece already. Almost any statue of uh, a furry animal is going to have some sort of texture. This one has quite a bit, uh, but most of them will have a little bit of texture. I'm going to show you a real quick way to make that really pop out. I won't have time to do all the detailing like the eyes and such on this guy in this video, but I'll show you the basics for getting that fur to come out. So uh, I've got a bit of brown latex paint here and there has been some confusion on uh, the type of paint that I use. I do use latex paints traditionally called acrylic latex. A lot of places just call them straight up latex. Um, some places don't even call them that anymore so it's, it's hard to tell but basically it's water-based paint that's exterior grade. That's what I use especially for the base coat. Now as you see I do the uh, basic dry brush here all around with this brown paint just over the entire thing don't worry about getting it in on the eyes and the mouth and other areas that are gonna have a different color because we're gonna touch that up later and as you can see I don't even worry about getting it on my hands because this is water-based paint it'll just easily wash off but the idea is to uh, go over it heavy enough so that just a bit of the black's gonna show through here and there but most of the piece is going to be the brown. Of course, another brush hair there. Okay, there we go. And just do it over the entire piece like that. And as you can see, it's already making the texture of the fur of this bunny stand out more. You get that nice two-tone effect. But we're going to do another step here to soften that down just a bit. It's a little harsh looking at this point. So we're going to set that down. Now what we're going to do is take a little bit of white latex paint. Use the same brush and just kind of blend it in with a bit of that brown that we had. To where we get just a light brown dusting on our brush. Now what we're going to do is just very lightly go over the whole thing with that. We don't want to completely drown out the dark brown. We just want to highlight it here and there. Make it come out just a bit more. So you still see the dark brown underneath the very light dusting of this very light brown. Again, very simple. It's all about just learning the feel of uh, how much pressure and how much paint to have on your brush. In this case, there's very little paint on it, of course. I'm just very lightly dusting over, literally just as though I'm trying to dust off some dirt or something on the statue. That's kind of what I'm doing. And you see now how we got a bit more of a textured effect on the bunny. Very nice. Now, of course, for this guy, like I said, I don't have time to do all the detailing. However, I am going to do a bit more of the fur and such on him here. Get a bit more of the brown. I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to get in there on his belly area. And this is uh, white latex again with a bit of that brown put in with it. We're just going to go in there and Soften up his belly area, make it nice there. Again, don't worry about stuff like that. We can always go back and touch that up. Just get in there and get the belly. This guy, he should have some uh, white on his cheeks there. Make him fluffy. His uh, nose area, a bit more in there. We'll just kind of rub that in. Maybe a little bit up on the snout of his nose. Maybe uh, a little bit across the eyes there. See how it's bringing that detail out? Now I'm actually going to go back later and put a little pink there and that, pink on his nose and pink around the eyes, uh, just to highlight them a little bit more. 
but that way it has a bit of the two-tone effect already with the white there. And then of course it's a bunny, so gotta give him a nice fluffy looking tail, right? So we just go over that. And again, letting the black show through so that we get that nice textured look. But as you can see, already in just that couple moments, moments time, we've got a bunny that now you could almost be confused that maybe he is soft and fluffy by looking at him. He just has that, that look that he's nice and furry and fluffy. And it just, uh, basically the texture of the statue does all the work for you. You just gently go over like that and uh, let the paint rub off where it wants to and just go back and touch up if you need to if there's a little spot here or there that, you know, doesn't look good. You can't really mess this up. Uh, but that's really it. You see there the difference now. Uh, really simple. This can work on almost any forest type animal. Of course, you don't always have to use browns. You can use gray finishes, for instance. But it's pretty much...